So today we are heading to Mostar. That's right. Now we're taking the bus. So you need to get online, buy your tickets online, and then go get them printed. Yeah, they have to be in paper you gotta form. Be in paper form. When you get to the bus station, you got to pay a two U.S. dollar fee. Yeah, two per person. But they stop you and tell you you need to go check in first. So it's pretty easy. Uh, we're just waiting for our bus here to show up. It should be about a two and a half hour ride. Yeah. into our hotel it's uh it's not a big room nothing special but it is a bed and breakfast looks like breakfast tomorrow is going to be really nice uh and it is right on the main street yes. here <laughs> so uh and do not recommend walking so much from the bus station with your luggage because the cobblestone here is yeah, it's gigantic. It's gigantic. It's nothing like him in the other areas of Europe we've been. No, we did get a workout. We did get a workout, yes, having to carry our luggage for however long it was.
not bad. <laughs> Candy. Just get Yeah. I guess I'm not. I got two. Carrie only got one. <laughs> How are they? I think they're delicious. <laughs> Carrie didn't like hers. So I got to eat hers too. <laughs> so you got two and my yeah. one. <laughs> Mine's score, fun score one for you. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Okay, so the hotel that we're staying at, we had a fantastic breakfast. A yeah, lot more a lot food than we normally <laughs> would eat. So we're up a bit earlier today um, and we're going to kind of try and get at it and go take a look around because yesterday when we got here, it was so crazy busy. It's very busy. Yeah. Now, one of the main attractions here, the main attraction here, is the bridge itself. Now the bridge was destroyed during the war, but they rebuilt it mm -hmm. to its formal glory. And that is where they jump off the bridge. Yeah. They got these cliff drivers that, I know it's 20 meters high, and to be a tourist and do it, you have to go through a training course. You can't just show up and do it. These are trained professionals, <laughs> so don't try this at home. And they don't jump unless they get enough donations. Yeah. So uh, they work the crowd for a while before I, you're gonna <laughs> see them jump off. <laughs> it's kind of fun to watch. So coming to Moss Star is typically people come as a, just a day trip. You're either coming from Dubrovnik or you might even be coming from Sarajevo. Um, the, the problem with that is, is that you, you come to the town and you're going to come in right in the middle of the day when it is the yeah. busiest time, which is what we experienced yesterday when we were here. It was a madhouse. It was. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, we had a great evening last mm -hmm. night. What I would do is exactly what we did is show up midday and just chill out and wait, come out in the evening time, Yeah. get, get a beer, get some dinner. Mm -hmm. um, the, the sunset was beautiful last night. It was gorgeous yeah. and, and honestly an absolutely totally different experience yeah. of the town coming out after the crowds had left. It We found it to be a, a, just a beautiful, enjoyable town and yeah, so I think a lot would be missed. Yeah. So one thing, uh, if you are here and you're looking for something to eat, we were looking last night and we really didn't really know where to go. So we ended up at a restaurant and it was great and everything, yeah. but sometimes you just want to grab some quick street food and we couldn't find any in town. So, um, or in the old town area. So just come out of the town, not very far. Like a quarter of a mile, maybe. Yeah, the most. not very far. Uh, and then there's a ton of street food, yeah. different options Kebabs, and stuff. Kebabs, anything you want. Yeah, and the prices are a lot more affordable as well. <laughs> So we are here at a place called the Craft Beer Garden, yeah. which is right in Mostar, just a little bit out of the main tourist area. It's fantastic. This uh, is actually our third time here, and we've actually only been here for a day. <laughs> it's got so, a great vibe. 
yeah. really good beer. The bartenders are cool, and the beer is delicious. The beer is delicious, and it's brewed here in Mostar, and it's the, uh, the old Brits. Old Brits yeah. Brewery. So definitely check it out if you're here. Yeah. There's like two more on the menu that we want to try, <laughs> so we might have to come back later today. Or we'll just be here for the rest just of the night. <laughs> Okay, so every 30 or 40 feet, there is a gelato, gelato stand. stand. <laughs> yeah. So we got gelato. We did. And I got a cone, like you're supposed to, mm -hmm. because, you know. Yeah, I got what he calls an old person cup. Yeah. Yeah. You know you're old when you get your ice cream in a cup, but, <laughs> but that's okay. It's not bad. It was, uh, so two scoops, $2, $2 US, so not bad at all. Yeah, and I got a cone with mine. He's going to keep harping on that one. Okay, so we walked a quarter mile yeah. up to the non-touristy uh, kebab mm -hmm. territory, and we got these plates of food that look delicious. They taste yeah. delicious. You gotta build your own kebab, and it costs us a total of how much? It was eight U.S. dollars eight for US two, yeah. two plates. For two, yeah. So kind of come outside of, of yeah. the touristy area it definitely saves you some money. It's really nice and quiet up here as well, which is also a benefit. So. Yeah, which is kind of nice. Yeah. If you are in the area, check out Mostar. Yeah. It is a great little town, super cute. And make sure and watch this video next. It's a good one.